Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. This is Sara Jerónimo with Pilita Corrales live. There's like a, a string section. There's like a wonderful like, or mini orchestra situation happening. Oh, it's Sara. So, yeah. Time. Hi, so, this is going to be really exciting. Go on, bloody hell. Oh, okay, let's have a look. Ooh, what a dress. What a woman. Oh, that presence. Nice dress, eh? <laughs> the atmosphere, the ambience. Oh, that is wonderful. modulation class right here this woman it's modulation class look at her that is perfection right there <laughs> it is bro and the delivery and and if you see if you check and her uh, body uh, communication in her body language, body language yeah the, and her um uh stillness is so prevalent right and everything is happening right from up here forward Feet grounded, still on the ground, and on the floor, really rooted, really there. There, That could be a tornado happening and that woman will not move from that spot. And that creates that huge resonance, right? It, it doesn't come often. It doesn't happen often. Actually, is something that has been lost with the no new modern age of singing. That stillness, that grounding that you can a, a retrieve so much. You, know, you can actually achieve so much power by just being in the moment, being so present, so still. And this right here, so far, it's a perfect pinnacle textbook example of it. She saw, I think she certainly does seem to be a, a, a lot, a, a performer that has a lot to uh, offer in order for people who like to have a look at artists like case studies, you know, like uh, in order to break them down and, and learn and learn about things. Yeah, I mean, certainly this is why I'm mentioning it. But I, and I, I also think there's a lot of value in doing such things, uh, regardless of, you know, what era they sort of are from. or Because or, it's interesting to see then what kind of... Techniques what, were implemented then. What are there now? Well, but. yeah, what, what were the techniques you saw mostly in the mainstream? Because mm -hmm. if you see, you know, like technically speaking, most mainstream singers right now, on that sound really they they no, just they just sing they're habitual singers yeah, most of they them they sing yeah. and some of, some of them have bad habits you know yeah. but they manage a way to you know because you want to be unique not um uh, you, you you want it yeah you want you want it you want singing to be unique not uh factory made yeah uh, what the fuck is a is a saying unique not standardized not uniform Aha, unique, not uniform. Thank you so much. No problem. Um, so it does have its, you know, its benefits. The fact that, but technique at the end of the day does improve, you know, like longevity. And it's no wonder why you get singers of this caliber still singing, you know, when they have been in the industry 30, 35, 40 years plus in the industry. Mm -hmm. And they are rare for that reason. Just, just for that reason, should you want to be a performer, you must look at singers like this. Absolutely, I think her vocal the display and delivery today, it's a very clear example of of what vocal health and, and proper technique can achieve. Because you don't, you won't get uh, singers from our generation in their 90s, well, in their unlikely. 80s, 
sounding clear as bell, highly melodic, and providing such depth. In their it's, six, it's, dude, I'm in 55 their 60s, plus, it's yeah. good to see you later. Yeah, it, 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 there are very rare cases, even today, actually. So yeah, it's, Best example of that is probably Miley Cyrus. It, it, hmm. It's, you know, she is a great singer, and she still is. But a wonderful singer, vocal yeah. health, it's vocal health. And I was very happy to hear her talk about it when she went on Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, I mean, she would be an interesting person to discuss that about. I wish they would have, you know, d- 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 dwelled d- deeper into yeah. it. I think it's just Joe doesn't know much about, you know, singing. <laughs> uh, but it, it would it would be really interesting for someone like Miley to sort of really specifically go down into what she is obvious what caused the damage. Um, but also, yeah, that 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 careless, free, you know, care uh, uh, what would you call it? Carefree. Uh, Carefree mentality mm. when it comes to vocal health and technicality and discipline. This but it, it's a high price to pay. It's, yeah. a, it's a definitely it's a high voice. price to pay. Yeah. So this is just wonderful. This is a dream. Oh, oh hello, Sarah. Oh, wow, Billy, that's quite tall. two generations in two different genres. She's also a great example of great technique. She's been doing that for a while, dog. And I wish all pop singers had this sort of oh, approach to singing. To be honest, I don't know how the fuck Zara never ages. <laughs> looks the same. Always. Like. Wow, they gave us such a vintage feel there. Interesting seeing the differences in voices. A hundred percent. Oh my god, I love it! Well, because Pilita has a task here. of that modern take of the track you you still kept that vintage edge to it all right that really highly melodic the super big on the symphony of it all oh i i felt like i was walking through a 1940s movie again you know it's it's that whole atmosphere oh, atmosphere that they created it's just wonderful it is very very good i mean yeah it's a it's a, it's a showcase of class really. it is very very class 
a class performance. I think that's probably <laughs> the best way to describe it. Well, let us know what your thoughts about it and maybe what other performances you'd like us to check out next.